friends and welcome to Mystic Star Magic. I am beyond happy that you are here joining me as we do a little pick a deck for some guidance. So all these decks are all V Love and Crystals decks um, and she's having a, like a pop-up sale till September 7th. So do check that out and it's like 40% off her decks which is really awesome. Um, but every single one is very different. So this is our Autumn's Delight. Winter, I think it's Winter Wonders, but I'm not sure. And then this is Blooming Feelings. This is the Cookie for Fortune Cookie. And this is Ask Crystal and, or Crystal Set, sorry. <laughs> so everyone is different. And so each match is just going to be like very like different. It's going to be unique. And I love that. Um, we're going to have so much fun with this. So it's going to be whatever messages come through. And that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and take a deep breath in. Close our eyes. Clear our mind. And now as we exhale and open our eyes, choose whichever deck calls you to it. All right, let's do this. Hello group one, let's find out what messages the cards have for you. So we're going to go ahead and just figure this all out. Yes, um, I'm going to go ahead and into, I'm trying to do this, so there we go. So let's see what messages. We're going to see the tower first, then we're going to see the uh, Autumn's Delight, which is the deck you chose, and maybe some Lenormand to go in there as well. <laughs> I love how we leave everything a little bit different. <laughs> All right, so please pardon my shuffling, and by that I mean you're, you might fall all over the place, so I do ask for your forgiveness there. Um, okay, let's see. What message does the collective of group one need to hear right now? What message does the collective of group one need to hear right now? What message does the collective of group one need to hear right now? We have the Four of Cups, but this is just the collective of group one here right now. What's the suggestion of the collective of group one here right now? Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Hang Unicorn, Hang Unicorn. All right, and so these are big messages I'm hearing right here. Um, okay, all right. So. Let's go ahead and just see the messages right here. So I'm like right off the bat, I thought to myself, this is interesting. This is an interesting, um, because we do have two major arcanas here. Uh, <clears throat> so I feel right now you are feeling, oh, let me see. Okay. You're feeling a bit stuck. You're feeling a bit apathetic. You're feeling kind of, you're focusing on... I do feel like it's a, even though it's it's not uh, the Five of Cups, there's a sense of missing something. There's a sense of missing like these three cups. So focusing on, on maybe like thinking the answer to a question or something you've been wanting to know is like you think that the answer is being held here, that you're waiting for these three cups to, <clears throat> I want to say manifest something, right? <clears throat> but really in reality, it's here that the universe is offering you an alternative um, answer, an alternative solution to it, or an alternative um, option that you're not seeing because you're so focused on this. You're like, this is where it's coming from, be it money, be it love. And so I'm feeling like, oh, money's going to come through these avenues, right? Either like this is going to, like it's coming through here, but the universe is actually offering you a whole new different um, way for, for money to come in here. In terms of love, you're like, okay, I have this person who I think, or like maybe more than one person, but like a specific person, you're like, that's where the love is going to come from. And the universe is like, no, there's, there's another love that like there's something even better and this is always to me like something even better because it's the universe offering you this the solution the answer to all the things you've been asking but you've been so focused on these three cups that you haven't been noticing that what's been offering and so this is what i want to see how interesting it is when we shift our perspective when we start to like look at things in a different way with this hang man this hang unicorn um we can actually see that. We can actually see that offer. We can see that these weren't the ones that were really what we wanted. This was going to kind of, I want to say, like, not all that um, 
glimmers or shines is gold, right? This is not the gold that you wanted. This is going to be the gold that you wanted. So this is the needing to shift. Shift our our perspective. Shift our our thought patterns to like realizing that maybe there are alternatives that there's not there's no fixed answer but rather using our creativity um and our yeah i really want to say our creativity to find possibly a solution or to be able to see opportunities where we where maybe not everybody thought that um i often you know i i got the hangman um in in like last year right that was my overall like energy for the year and i i have to say i've come to love that hangman the hang unicorn here um because it's while well, everybody sees things in a different like in in a certain way you can actually see the opportunities that others don't because you're looking at it upside down right and i really like i i came to respect and love the hang unicorn unicorn in that manner um so I really feel like this is quite a blessing for you right now. So if you can take advantage of it and not, um, I want to say not focus so much on having a rigid solution, but rather have an open mind in a sense of like really being kind of a little playful and shifting your, your perspective. And then I want you to see this. Then if you can do that, we have the Wheel of Fortune here. We have this shift. We have this shift of like our fortune things start working out for us because we no longer are being rigid even though it's funny because here the, the, he is tied to the tree and they cannot move but in that in that there is an enlightenment in that there's a a shift in perspective that could not have come any other way had we been just you know just trying to act this is an important thing here and so the, our fortune shifts, our wheel of fortune shifts for the better. And we are able to then have the clarity to take action. And it, this is like, oh, this is such a strong and beautiful like reading and just advice here. Just like the cards are telling us such a beautiful story. And I'm just, I'm actually quite delighted for you. Because if you can do this, if you can get this, you will have this shift of fortune. And then you will have this action and, and looking and acting from a place of clarity and this is a, like this will speed it up like right? this is something that is going to speed up whatever it is that you're asking for here is going to be um sped up and in a way that i think you you cannot really foresee it it's just so beautiful all right let's see what the <laughs> now that we have such beautiful things let's see what the cards are going to tell us so we have these beautiful cards we have courage yep the skies Let's see what we have. Like I want to say, we need courage. We need disguise. And let's see. I want to have one more. One more of what? Uh, of like messages, guidance that group, the collective of group one needs to hear right now. Date. Okay. And habits. Okay. I do. <laughs> I was at one and then I come out more. Um, that's okay. We're going to play with that. Um. So I think this is an important thing here. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just shifting this around <laughs> a little bit because I feel like this is something here. We need the disguise. This is the disguise. Um, so the disguise is really... And this. I think there's a sense of disguise here in, in like... Um, in this apathy. Maybe you're like... <sighs> I feel like maybe your disguise, but I feel like um, the disguise that I'm actually seeing, which is interesting because this is not what I thought I would be seeing, is uh, the disguise of what you think are solutions or what you think are options. There, there's, um, <clears throat> and there's a disguise of like, yes, that's the right one, but they're really not. They're, they're, this is not it. This, these three cups are not it. This is the one you really want here. And these are like, I really do see see this as like, just because it shines or it's glimmery doesn't mean that it's gold. So there's a disguise here that this seems like this is the only solution. And that's what your mind is thinking right now. It's like, these are the only solutions. This is the only option. And those are, though that is a disguise in a sense. Um, <clears throat> and I do have to say like, this is something that I, it kind of goes with me as well with this habits. Habits, the way we have this habit of like... <sighs> 
of like doing things a certain way and looking at things in a certain way and that's those are actually habits uh of what we have our beliefs are just thoughts that we keep like that we thought over and over and over and over again and that's like sort of a habit of thinking so i really feel like the hangman is asking you to get out of your habits have out of your comfort zone out of your usual things like i usually do this thing but now the hangman is telling you no no think about things differently <clears throat> have the courage to um have the courage to to actually step away from this your habits step away from your usual thought processes and like you, your routine um have the courage to kind of like go off definitely here is telling us to possibly like with the ocean there is listen to your emotion have a maybe a date night with yourself in here um where you actually like allow this allow the hangman to take over have this sense of like time alone because the hangman even though it's not the hermit there's a, a hermit kind of energy there too because you're going deep within yourself so have a date night with yourself and really think about this and shift your perspective i do feel like there for some of you there is an answer in like movies um yeah like there's an answer in like the and like maybe there's something that a movie that has inspired you that maybe you should watch it again um i don't know why that's what i'm getting but that's that's something that i feel like that is important coming through here i do want to say like it is quite interesting to me that it, it's this habit it's this disguise um beliefs i really do believe that you think that it's this a truth right um that you're like it's an a truth that is not really real that's more like of a thought that you've been thinking over and over and over again we need to get rid of those habits those like the same thought processes because you're needing to shift your perspective this is the key to it all um so it's quite beautiful and it takes courage it does 100 percent. it does take courage because it's it's going out of your own comfort zone but if you can the solution is there <laughs> for some of you maybe you're looking for a date maybe you're looking for that love maybe that that's what's going to happen maybe dating for for some of you is also yeah that's another thing and you feel like maybe trying different maybe di different people trying dating different people trying different alternative like um have different like date nights where you try to come up like play with different solutions play with different options is what i'm hearing here it doesn't matter what it, what it, whether it's like love um uh, money or like career or something but play with something we'll play with the different options and you will see like once you uh get unstuck in a certain mindset i think you're gonna see this flow really nicely let's actually see what the lenormand has to say about this so we're just gonna pick two cards and we're actually <laughs> i'm playing with this as my like lenormand deck i combined my both of my lenormand my mystic sight and mystic knight lenormand and we're gonna see what comes up with this it's the first time i'm gonna use it this way so bear with me so let's see what um let's look at what guidance um is coming through for the collective of group one that we need to hear right now okay <laughs> So here, this one's wanted to come out. So fish and bird. So there's opportunities, um, abundance coming through here. And it's coming through possibly a word of mouth of a friend uh, or something like that. There is like, it's it's, it's through com conversation. It's more through like communicating, maybe telling people what you want. Maybe you're like, for example, I, you know, like, oh, I was really, I'm looking forward to like looking forward to like <laughs> maybe a new boyfriend new girlfriend doesn't really matter like having new love interests coming in maybe your friends or somebody you can communicate with that will like help you come bring that into your life um if you're looking for possibly another for a job or for like money opportunities maybe communicating with um other people like uh sorry i say a lot but that's how i think <laughs> what I'm like I I kind of can do odd jobs kind of like I don't know why like that seems like I can walk dogs you know house it kind of thing like it's it's needing to communicate and then once you do there is like a lot of abundance and opportunities coming through here I do like this a lot so communicating it with others that's another thing let's see what <clears throat> the magical life affirmation cards come through here uh, these are actually these are new and if you actually saw my <sighs> fall haul fall well it's not haul but fall and halloween um 
decks that I've gotten this year. So anyway, this is part of it and I really do like this deck. So let's go ahead and see what magic, what, like what advice, what guidance, and what magic comes to collective of group one. And these are affirmation cards, so yeah. Okay, look at these beautiful, they're two cards that we have for you. Okay, so we have love always finds me. Okay, so if maybe that's something, if love is, is what you're looking for, love always finds you. Um, and I choose, oh, look at this. Oh my God, I choose perspectives that serve my highest good. And that's definitely, oh wow, these are beautiful because that is the hangman, shifting your perspective. So these are, I would say, this is like great affirmations if you want to work with this. Um, love always finds me. So there is love for those of you who are like, oh my God, there's love. Love is coming. That's what it's telling us here. And I choose perspectives that serve my highest good. And that is what you need to do. We need to like shift that perspective and see what is for your highest good. And that is something that we're going to do here. Um, I did want to see what the, uh, I'm using. This is my <laughs> Everyday Wonders um, Divination Dice Set. So it's really exciting. Let's see what kind of like messages come through here for you. Okay. Look at that. We have like being a little upset, being upset here coming through. Um, we do have, but like, look, we're going to, there's, there's motion coming once instead of like being stuck. I feel like if we can move, right, we can fly to something. Look, you got it. You're like, I got it. Totally. You got this. Um, see, I feel like there is money, money and messages. Again, there's like a sense of communication coming. So money is coming your way. Um, uh, it also says possibly saving is good here, but it feels like money is coming your way. It may not be a lot, but it's it's on like it's going to add up here. Okay, and let's see what your advice is. It's like make today great. Yes, make today great. And if not now, when? Oh wow, those are beautiful. Um, <clears throat> so those are our beautiful ones. Let's see what our sprinkle of charms is and i feel like that is like yes if we don't change our perspective if we don't change our our things now when are we going to do it when do we do this and instead of focusing on like oh like oh if i had this i would be happy if i had this i would be like this would be this is what's missing right if we can make today great where we are right now that's oh my god that that's actually gonna that's the shifting of perspective if i choose the perspective that serves my highest good which is i make today great right regardless of what's happening i make today great wow that's that's powerful <clears throat> all right let's go ahead and see what um our sprinkle of charms are going to tell us so guidance for the collective group okay so these are it okay wow <laughs> oh look at this we have this yeah look we have fish and fish so that is beautiful because it is there's abundance coming there is abundance coming um all in its forms we do need to take time out like this coffee it's like have a break really connect following and listening to our intuition yes the highs are like <clears throat> the universe god well, is like there and it's like giving you clues and 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 you just are there. They're offering oh, something to you, but you're not seeing it because you need to shift your perspective, Mister. So maybe um, some somebody's gonna help you. That that I feel like that's gonna be something for you here. We're moving. We're moving. We're gonna move there. I I feel like the motion is not fast, but it's 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 gaining momentum. Is what I'm hearing. Um, this is definitely maybe connecting to that ohm energy. Okay, because that's when it is like it's the it's the source of all like listening to that ohm energy and strong is beautiful and what's strong is you're shifting your perspective that is strength there it is not skiing stuck in habits right it's not stuck in a way of thinking but allowing ourselves to see things in different perspective things like it it, it really is this hangman energy this hang unicorn energy <clears throat> is really for me this is the vital thing this is this is if I were to say sum it all down to one message is this um, because it, it's the way you've been perceiving and looking at the world is not helping you right now and you need to shift it um, so yeah <laughs> I hope you like this reading and if you did please consider liking subscribing commenting and sharing I am beyond grateful that you are here that you've watched this you make my day every day and please do 
like subscribe because every every month I do have giveaways of not just like personal readings but giveaways of my own um oracle decks and divination dice sets so be here and and be on the lookout I usually there's a video for it um and I, I do weekly um giveaways of personal readings too so please subscribe and comment I appreciate all of that I am sending you so much love so much light so much happiness so much joy and remember you are 100 percent magic Bye-bye. Hello, group two. Let's find out what um, awesome guidance and messages are coming through for you. So we'll do go ahead and do the tarot first, and then we'll go on into the other messages. We're going to have a lot of fun. Oy. Okay. All right. So these ones just wanted to come out. <laughs> no, we're not, doing, we're not doing upside down ones right now. <laughs> no reverse. There we go. Okay. So that's interesting. I just need one more. Um, one more card of what's happening. Collective of group two. Okay. Oh, four of cups again. Look at that energy. <laughs> I'm just saying that because this one was in also in the energy of the group one. So maybe you'll watch that one as well. We'll see what I'll tell you more. Stuff. I like that. <laughs> Sorry. I'm such a weirdo. Um, okay, so let's look at this. All right, so there's a lot of four energy. So there's a lot of stuck energy here Okay. So here I'm feeling there is a sense of scarcity Scarcity here with this like trying to hold on to something trying to hold on because you're afraid of Well, you're afraid of losing it. You might be worried about money here. You're also kind of uh, I really want to say fixated on Possibly like this since the four cups the emotions you're kind of like there's some sort of like stuck energy here in terms of emotions and financial so this is like very stuck energy here but I want you to see something that's awesome and this is the hero fan so the hero fan is there might be a teacher or something that you need to learn here there is a truth that's coming through that's being offered by um, some sort of like the hero fan uh, I do want to say a teacher, yes, uh, a truth that is being offered here that will c cut these um, four of cups and four of pentacles um, stuck energy. I want to actually clarify this. Let's see what, let's, I want to clarify the Hierophant. So, do I want to clarify the four, no, let's do Hierophant. Okay, so what's the Hierophant? here what is the hair fan doing here what is the hair fan doing here um the ace of cups okay yeah look at that all right so so <laughs> i do feel like yes there is a sense of like and i do feel like this is also part of this as well that was the bottom of the of the deck right there but i feel like here is it's an interesting thing here the hair fan is offering you which is a teacher, right? This is a learning. This is something that you need to learn. There's like lessons that need to be learned here. It's offering you this ace, a new beginning with terms of fulfillment, in terms of love. And, and just, but not just like love, but I feel like overall just fulfillment. There is a need for clarity here though. There is a need for clarity and it's been, it's, it's coming. It's like, um, I feel like you've been, again, with this energy of the stuck, you've been kind of blocking yourself from even seeing this truth because you've been uh, yeah I, when i see it i see you kind of curled up um like a or like a fist rather than opening up but that's what i'm seeing so i feel like that that is like very important here and i do want you to see this this is the justice it is finding this balance but i when i when i picked it up when i saw it it was more like karma is coming karma is trying to tell you like it's 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 like i want you to have these two new beginnings but you cannot you can't have them right now because you're not allowing it and it's really is everything is working out for you but you're not allowing it you're stuck i really want to say um not just in thoughts but like in emotions like there's this sense of like oh I like a heaviness a weight here of like cloudiness of like no it's like never things are never going to change is what i'm hearing like things are never going to change i'm like possibly like i'm not good enough or, or stuff like that that's like this this like heavy cloud around you 
that's not it's not helping you and it's not true either and that's why we need this clarity and i do love that you are getting the clarity it's coming through it's cutting across and the universe is giving it to you um but it is it's after like a feeling of of like the rainbow always comes after the rain right that's something that needs to to let it go you need to release a lot of this energy here and this four of pentacles energy too because the four of pentacles is like you're just holding on to things it's like trying to hold hold on to your breath right and never let it go you can't you have to release that in order for you to be able to move on to the next in the next which is beautiful like ace of a new beginning here with the ace of swords which is like giving insight clarity having no more knowledge about yourself and others and having this ace of cups you need to um stop holding your breath stop holding on to things and really listen to this hierophant this teacher i it, that's coming through here and you're and i'm sure if you're here like it might be an actual teacher you might actually be taking classes it might just be the the wisdom and words of a friend a parent uh somebody you're just there the words are and the words and it's just gonna get you at a deeper level and it's gonna cut the truth like cut cut the the lies and let the truth in here um and it's about time and it's finding balance here it is the need to find this balance and allow like if you're holding on, if you're trying to prevent this from happening, you're stopping from like the good karma to come from come forth as well. So that is so. Oh, these are these. I have to say, I'm actually quite enjoying this uh, reading a lot. I I did it on the spur of the moment. I just it felt like that's what we needed to do. So let's go ahead and see what the cards tell us. Like what? Okay, we have incomparable. Yes, you are unique. Look at that. There's a uniqueness in here comparable avenues more avenues than you allow yourself to think that you have an alchemy oh wow look at that um i do love this because it's like understanding that there is like you are incomparable you are unique loving this energy about you allowing new avenues to come in like there is more than one alternative and this is very similar again to to group one but it's different a, a lot of it and then we have the alchemy and the alchemy here is <clears throat> the alchemy is really coming through here with this with this like past experience here right letting shifting this past experience shifting into something else um and allowing this like with some knowledge like acknowledging the the lessons that we needed to learn that you like you know like instead of having apathy and saying things will never change instead like be like what lessons that i learned from whatever experience it is that's got you stuck in this four of cups energy or this four of pentacles it's like what else what how do i shift it and it's like seeing that there's more um there's more choices than you're allowing yourself to see and accepting your uniqueness um and and not only accepting it, but really allowing it in and taking its power in that. It's like, yes, I am unique and it's okay. Like every, like this is, there's alchemy here um, with this apple there. I, I really do feel like there is a need to learn. There's a need to have a teacher, like connect. Maybe, I don't know, for some of you, maybe a life coach, maybe, maybe just connecting to a friend who's really wise, right? But there is a need for you to listen to, to like, to get that knowledge um, that will help you cut across that. There's with the cinnamon here, with the cinnamon there, it's also there, cinnamon, there's prosperity, there's, and there's a sense of magic here as well. Um, so really like listen to that as well. <laughs> I, I do love that there's like, there's more than one solution to a problem. Always remember that. Um, but we should always sometimes fixated on one solution in that and the uniqueness of it all. Oof, so beautiful. All right, let's see what the, what my Mystic Sight and Mystic Night Lenormand. And this is the first time I'm actually just going to combine them and see what this, how this works out in a reading. <laughs> You're my guinea pigs. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? All right, let's see what, um, guidance or messages. This is the collective of group to need to hear. We have the ring as a proposal. Okay, and scythe. Okay, so something is ending. Um, so, it, there was some sort of offer that is being that is ending so some sort of offer that was ending um but please please take this as this will like it's a proposal it's something like some sort of like offer that you thought you had it comes to an end but 
if it is, it's for the for your benefit. It really is here. Again, there is more avenues than you have that you are not really um, seeing. Uh, there is more solutions to a problem than one. There is, if you have the creativity, um, you will see that there is. And sometimes because of that, there's better solutions, right? There's a better solution. There is new beginnings that you wouldn't have had otherwise. Again, this is like, and I really want you to see this, there's like these two new beginnings. And whatever here that was, that came to an end and it came abruptly, it was because you needed a new beginning and you that is even better. So that is something that I want to say that that's important here. Let's actually see what, um, <laughs> sorry, let's put this, we put it here. Let's see what magic affirmation you have. So let's see what messages does the collective of group to need to hear right now. Mm, yeah. This one. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh my goodness. I want you to see that. Uh, I do love that. <laughs> I have a creative solution. Yeah, that's what it is. And there's more than one. I have creative i really want to say i have creative solutions is what i would change that so i have creative solutions to whatever it is and i am worthy of my dreams so these are beautiful like that is too complete like letting you know that you can have it all here so very important i, I do love that there's such um synchronicities with the um, <clears throat> the cards and like right now i'm going to be using the everyday wonders um my divination dice set so let's see what it says all right everyday wonders dice set okay let's see uh, there's this oh <laughs> look at that i want you to see like there's a sense of like being upset here um just like kind of like making a wish but make forcing it so hard and then kind of i want to say like <laughs> <clears throat> having the sense of like but if you can have a sense of fun a sense of 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 joy i feel like you new opportunities are going to come for you like new like things that that you've been like it's what you've been wanting it's just not the way you thought it would come and i feel like then you have this you have this like eggplant which you know what you get to do with that plant you you know like here's a dragon the, a dragon's gonna cook it right there so it's like the solution and 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 I want to say the solution and also the the blessing is within you. Um, so that's something that you need to see that you also have here like you're there's too much drama walking away. You need to walk away from whatever drama it is that that's kind of hold held you here. Um, it's not it's not helping you. It's binding you um, to whatever like you feel like it's like a cycle for me i feel like that's what i'm seeing like a cycle for you that just walk away from the drama it's take away steps this is not what you need to do right now okay so do what you love yes do what you love that is what you need to do um and you, even if it's like you're like instead of being stagnant in this energy of like the four of cups or this four of, of pentacles you're like oh my god i i'm holding on because if if i don't hold on the world will come undone it's and and maybe it will but it'll be for your benefit right um so here we go think it want it get it and that and that really goes with this i am worthy of my dreams you are worthy of your dreams and if you think it you want it and you will get it that is oh my god i uh, this is like a fun reading that i really like and i'm glad that i just listened to <laughs> i was like let's see what the sprinkle of charm stuff what messages are uh guidance does the collective group one need to a uh, group two need to hear that's okay we know this yeah all right look at them so you do have your being there's a, a sense of temptations there's a sense of like the moth you are being attracted to some sort of drama some sort of thing it does it's just not helping you here you are in like even though you have this power, you have the illusion that you do not. This is an illusion that you do not. You have magic within you 100%. See, you're trying to like, you're trying to block everything off. You're trying to like, be like, I don't want to get hurt again. But in that, in that, it's okay to have boundaries. But this is not a boundary. This is actual walls. And if, if you cover yourself up, then you're not, you're not going to let life help you and come in here. And there is love coming through here look at that that's stuff coming through here and somebody who's there for nurturing somebody who wants to nurture and help you um 
is there for you as well. Again, here is a sense of having fun, a sense of being playful about it all. And then you will have the sun, this total beautiful like fulfillment that comes through here. It's like quite, it's a very beautiful, beautiful like reading here. Um, I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed all of this. Please let me know if you did. Please comment, subscribe, share, and um, like. <laughs> all those things really help my channel grow. And I do have the aim. My goal is to have, one of my dreams is to have 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We'll see if I make it happen. If not, it's okay. But I would really like, like that because I want to have a community tab so I can connect and communicate with all of you. Um, there is something else. Oh yeah, and be on the lookout for, uh, if you're a subscriber, and another reason why you should subscribe is be on the lookout for, like, there's, like, monthly giveaways of my oracle cards, my divination dice sets, and also just personal readings. So be on the lookout for that one, and there's also weekly ones, so just comment and you'll be put in, like, you know, for, for the weekly ones. I'm so grateful. I am beyond happy that you're here. I am just sending you so much love, so much light, so much happiness. Oh, may all your dreams and, and come true for you. Have a wonderful day and remember you are magic. Bye. Hello, group three. Let's find out what messages and guidance we have for you. So first we're going to use the tower and then we're going to use the oracle cards and it's going to be so much fun. Okay, let's see. What messages or guidance does the collective of group three need to hear right now? What messages and guidance does the collective of group three need to hear right now? He doesn't mind. What messages or uh, guidance does the collective Okay, we got that. Three need to do and this one also wants to go. Oh wow, there's a lot of um energy coming through here. Okay. So you have eight of wands moving. Ones. okay it's actually quite beautiful all right so there is there's motion sorry the, the, there's a lot of wands so there's a lot of fire energy here so definitely um very strong fire energy <laughs> we have a lot of wands okay so we have this eight or there's fast there's there's a fast mo momentum coming through here i want you to see that there's an end though there's an end that needed to happen that is actually quite beneficial um I feel like this is like, but it was is something that was coming, something that you probably knew that was there. It's like, and this end was because you, it, it needed to speed up something, something that you've been wanting, wanted, needed to be sped up. So we had this death, this ending. Um, and I really feel like it's that ending was necessary because you because you wanted to be this king of wands. And this king of wands is really the energy of... It's an energy of confidence. It's an energy of an entrepreneurial spirit. It's doing your own thing um, and having the, the confidence to follow through on this. Very much a leadership quality here. So something that you've been wanting, this is like, this This came through here. This energy of like having, I, I really want to say freedom in a sense. It's like there's a sense this death needed to have to happen so that you can have this freedom to actually achieve because this is a victory something you've been wanting to have i am going to clarify the death card just because i want to see what this ending was about so let's see what is the death card here what is the death card here what's the death card here why is the death card here stop okay <laughs> sorry okay yeah all right so here we go um we have this all right so we have the strength card here so i want you to see this this death this ending needed to happen because there is a sense that you needed there's well let's look at the nine of cups there's a wish fulfillment that needed to happen and again it it needed to happen but you needed to i think i really want to say this whatever ended it may like and i speak it as if, if it's already happened but it might just be happening um when because how i read the cards <laughs> i speak it as as that way but it doesn't might actually be something that maybe you're going through the death right now like this ending that's happening here um and and if that's the case but what you're what it's coming through here and i, I did say this is like a, it's all about this wish fulfillment that it needed to happen because it needed it wanted maybe you wanted to speed it up but something wanted there's this momentum that needed to happen and it needed 
in order for it to happen there had to be like this um ending and again you see the sun is rising here from this from this um ending whatever shape and form it took this was the sun is going to come from it right um but it we needed you to gain the strength it's there's a strength that needed to you needed to <laughs> so funny because it keeps on having like a shift of perspective you needed to understand your own strength or maybe even connect to your strength um again it's when i see strength it's it's a strength of like not a domineering strength but a strength of like confidence it's like this strength comes through me i mean it's coming through as as, as having this confidence this ending needed to happen for you to gain this confidence um and to be able to fill this wish uh, which is really the sense of freedom the sense of like entrepreneurial having the confidence to do what you love and and then having the victory because of it so quite quite strongly beautiful Let's see what the cards, what the oracle cards tell us like. What guidance and messages does the, okay, so we have hateful, okay. Let's see what that is. Let's see what messages or guidance does cards have. Okay. What messages and guidance cards have here. Okay, look at that. A lot of, lots of, um, intense feelings here i'm actually going to pull one more card here hmm. <laughs> sorry i was waiting for this to happen but i i do feel like okay all right all right okay you're gonna have a whole lot of cards okay <laughs> that's, just, that's just what's gonna happen and that's how we play <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and do this because i wanted to see um, and the reason why I really wanted to see this because there is a lot of um, these are very strong emotions here we have hateful I release the heavy burdens in my heart there is a sense of hate here um, and it's like the rose there's like a, a closing off of a sense of love here because the rose to me always represents the heart and love in general vulnerable so establish he healthy boundaries but there is like a sense of vulnerability that comes forth here and then we have this anger like I will not combust, but there's a sense of anger, and here it's coming through from a dandelion, like a, a like the little dandelion pine puff. And this anger energy is actually burning away your wishes. So maybe that's why you needed to have this ending because something, something, this this energy here needed to come to an end. So whatever this ending was, it's because this was what you were feeling. This was very. Um, in a sense very toxic because it, it all came from a fear though it all came from feeling vulnerable from feeling oh i don't have the strength for this right um but i feel like this ending needed to happen because you needed to get the strength that's coming through here and i do want to say that this one came out as well which is this um sense of exclusion and and in in like you felt excluded i feel like you've but you've been the one who's excluding yourself and there was a deja vu so it was maybe patterns that you had that this was happening over and over again um with this deja vu so it's i learned from familiar moments and this this is a sense and so what needed to happen was an end to happen to to whatever it is that that was kind of like blocking you and that's what i feel like that's happened so yeah resourceful i know my purpose and look this is what happens after you are done with this is you have this happy my light is contagious and inspire i breathe life into new ideas this and this is this energy after this end happened this is the energy that you have here isn't that beautiful so you might be i don't know where you are in this um reading in terms you might still be holding on to this right you might still be with this anger with this hateful energy and i'm there's no like you know angry hateful you're having repeating patterns seeing you're feeling excluded there's this there's these are very strong energies um and you might be in that point right now right and you're feeling vulnerable you don't like know what this so i don't know where you are but if you are there there is an ending that's coming that's going to help you that's going to help you see that you have the strength right you know this is your own inner strength it really is about your own self and and about your own confidence and it's going to make a wish fulfillment coming through where you have this i really do feel like a freedom from all this into this beautiful like wow look at 
this, this beautiful energy that you have now, which is the King of Wands, which is this confidence and, and knowing what you want. And, and then, yeah, and the Six of Wands, which is victory. So it's the resourceful and I know my purpose. That's the King of Wands. And it's, it's like this sunflower. This is kind of the same energy of fire in there. Happy. My light is contagious. You are like happy now. And you have this inspired. I breathe life into new ideas. And that is that sense of creativity there. So it is quite, it is a strong reading. It's strong energy here. So I don't know where you are, but look, look, even if you're here, right? Even if you're right now in this, it's it's painful because I can feel that energy. It almost takes my breath away, but not in a good way. It takes my breath away. Like oh, it's so 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 strong, right? It's like oof. Um, but but this is what's coming, right? This is what's coming here after after that ending needs to happen. Um, so let's go ahead and see what other um, things coming through here. What guidance proposal <laughs> guidance and what guidance and the messages is the collective of group three okay so proposal and you need to there's a proposal and you need to change like choose a path um yeah let's this is basically there's going to be an offer some sort of offer to you and this is actually really cool because it's my um Mystic site and Mystic uh, Night Lenormand that I combined together, um, but you just got most Mystic site. So here we have this. There's a, some sort of proposal that's going to make you decide, like, what what path am I going to choose? What am I like? Which path am I going to choose? That some offering, some somebody's going to offer you something, um, possibly like a like a partnership. It might be like uh, actual like wedding offer. I, I like. Uh, marriage proposal i don't know so some sort of proposal but it's going to like lead you to like is this what i want or is it something else you're at a crossroad right now you have the choices that you want to to make and then you're going to get to choose um and whatever choice it is even if it's 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 saying maybe saying no to this or or like or an ending of some kind because if you choose if we choose one path we're saying no to the other but I always know like look 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 how beautiful this is definitely uh, a path that is worth taking here this one yes 100 percent. let's see what um magical affirmations kind of i like what messages these cards have for you for the collective of group three <laughs> Okay, I believe in my magic. Oh yeah, see there's the confidence that I was telling you about. You, it's what you're starting to understand and that's why that ending needed to happen. Let's see what, one more, one more card, what guidance. I am seen, held, and supported. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> it is actually in one, this one wanted to come out too. So we're gonna go ahead and let it come out. Um, and that's the, with gratitude, I open, to, I open to blessings beyond belief. So there is a sense of being, having gratitude for all of it. Um, but yes, there's, you need this confidence. It's I believe in my magic and needing, believing in yourself. I am seen, held, and supported. You are um, supported and loved, definitely, always. With gratitude, I open I open to blessings beyond belief. So these are these are beautiful things, and these could actually be affirmations for you, especially if you're going through this ending, and and it's the it's the overwhelming energy here that's going to help you come here. Let's see what these are. My um, everyday wonders divination dice set. This is so cool. Let's see what it has for us to say. Okay, look at that. <laughs> There's a sense of smugness. The smugness and maybe mistakes but it's a sense of like but then moving forward <laughs> there's some sort of messages coming a conversation that's going to come through here that's going to cause there's going to be cause for celebration and that's that celebration that six of wands energy is coming through that's what it is we also have dream big and think it want it get it so knowing what you want and dreaming big and then if you you know it then you you think it then you want it and then you're going to get it but yes it's a sense of being kind of like this is a smugness and then but from the smugness there's mistakes because it's it's not about it's 
it's, it almost feels like you have to always be right. It's the smugness, like, uh. and it's like, oh, mistakes, but apologizing for your mistakes, re learning from your mistakes. And then look how fast, like, you're going to move fast forward. You're just going to enjoy your life here. Um, so that's, that's really interesting here. And let's see what the sprinkle of charms for you are. Collectible group. Sprinkle of charms. Here we go. Oops. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, we have the heart one that also fell. Okay, here we go. So we have love coming through here. Look at this. You do. You have the magic. Believe. I believe in my magic. And you have the magic to make your dreams um, come true. And it's a whimsicalness to it. You have a wish fulfillment coming through with something you've been really wanting. And then we have that again with the with the nine of cups. So it's, it's definitely a double confirmation about that. Um, we do have, you see, this is like your heart needs to let release any of the darkness that's around it and understand that you, you are, you know, like you are your own queen or your own king, like that's important to you, but need to release the darkness that's in there. Um, how you look at the world, right? Am I, am I looking at the world with gratitude? Am I looking at the world and seeing all that is there for me, all the support and love that you have? Yeah. If you see it that way, your blessings or you're opening yourself up to blessings beyond belief. That's very important. Another wish fulfillment. So you have like three confirmations of wish fulfillment and good luck coming through here. You also feel like there is like friends that are going to help you somehow. There's a sense of, of, of having friends coming through here for you and helping you see this. And then, yeah, you can have your dreams. You can have your wish. This is like the fulfillment that you've been asking for and it's coming through here. I hope you liked this reading. If you did, please consider liking, subscribing, and commenting. Um, if you do subscribe, you be, you know, like be on the lookout because I do giveaways um, of my oracles and my divination die sets and free personal readings for my subscribers. And for those of you who don't want subscribes but just want to comment, I do give giveaways for those as well. Um, just a weekly, and that's pretty cool. Um, just I'm beyond grateful just for you taking the time out to watch this. I mean, since, like, you, I, you guys are the best. Let's just leave it at that. I am sending you so much love, so much light, so much happiness, so much joy and wish fulfillment. And remember, you are 100% magic. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Hello, group four. Let's find out what messages and guidance you have. Let's, so we're going to do tarot first, and then we're going to do all the different oracles and lemons as well. So let's go ahead. What messages? Um, guidance is the collective of group four need to hear right now. It's just some guidance. I need to hear right now. I want to find some guidance. <laughs> That's an interesting. Some guidance in the collective of group four need to hear right now. It's just the collective of group four need to hear. Oh, six of swords, okay. What messages and guidance is the collective of group four need to hear right now? Okay, that one's coming out. Queen of Pentacles. What messages? Kind of the collective of group four need to hear right now. The Emperor, Temperance. Okay. Okay. So look at this. So we're gonna we're moving away from Tumulus Waters. We're moving away from this. This is like fast motion coming forth. Uh, things are speeding up. You're moving away from from again troubled waters you're moving away from something that's been troubling you you're moving towards more of yourself here more um sense of i don't know why i want to say like where you are kind of i don't know i see i see very much somebody who's at home uh baking enjoying like a, a sense of their home enjoying like baking, taking care of others, organizing your home, decorating. There's there there's a sense of of domestic. Oh, I can't even spread, say it. Oh, but of being a uh, in domestic bliss. That's what I'm seeing here. A sense of domestic bliss in being that energy here. So I feel like being more in that power, in more of this this grounded energy of being very supportive i feel like you're supportive not only of like your family but you're just in general this a, a sense of giver but your your way of giving is by actually baking by by <laughs> 
doing little things. It, it's more of a, you're a doer in terms of, of showing affection. And that's something that's important here. That's something that I feel like you're connecting to this power because I feel like you've been wanting to connect it, but it's, it hasn't been there as much. Um, but there is, I want you to see something here. Because there, I, I was actually fascinating that we have the emperor. So for some of you, maybe you might be like leaving, a, a, I would say like a relationship that wasn't working or like a, possibly a job situation that wasn't working, something that wasn't working. You're leaving and you're moving away and you're starting to, to be here, a sense of being very well much grounded and, and doing things, um, again, cooking, kind of having that abundant, it's like this earth energy this this queen of pentacles which is this it's just such an a, a fertile like just kind of happy just this lady who's very happy and doesn't you know that doesn't necessarily have you don't have to be a lady but what i'm saying is like this sense of family okay family like having that kind of uh idea coming through here and i'm what i'm saying that you might like for some of you might actually get be getting married because we have this emperor energy here as well but there's a need for temperance there's a need for balancing there's a need for for like uh also patience as well even though this is fast moving there is a sense of needing for patience here and and this emperor energy is also like being letting our Find this balance between inner emotions and also our logic and having this balance between both of them and being able to, because of this balance, you see, it's like this balance of both of these energies of, and it's like for me, the divine feminine and the divine masculine here, um, even though this is not the empress, this is the queen of pentacles is the pre-empress energy. Um, so, so we have this sense of like finding a balance of both the masculine and feminine and, and, and in, in that you are a lot like very powerful and I think that is in that is where it is it's like having this logic and, and being able to take action and this is inspired action but also like being here um in the sense of like I really want to say fertility <laughs> and by that I mean it in all senses it's like not just being creative here but also like being um it's like sense of creativity and emotional here even though it's not the queen of cups or not the queen of wands which are very much so but there is a sense of of this um also needing to move forward with that but let's let's see let's clarify this a little bit more let's clarify this queen of pentacles and the emperor I really want to see this so what is the queen of pentacles doing here okay so two of wands okay we're moving towards something yeah and you did you had to make a choice because you're moving away from something you're moving towards things that you want more instead um let's see what the emperor here is doing here what's the emperor energy doing here eight of pentacles so work okay so possibly maybe you are like considering this because uh, I do feel like this is very much a domestic per like uh, energy here, like family oriented, loving like this. So you've chosen this. This is something that I feel like you've gone into accepting this uh, calling deep within yourself. Um, <clears throat> but also having this balance of like doing. OK, so it makes sense here. It's having this balance of like it's OK to enjoy your work, to be able to do like to work and your fruits of, of, of things that you like. So it's it's not, it's about taking care of, like having that balance of work and life, like work and life, not just like family life, but working and you're even your self time here. So it's what you're trying to work. I feel like maybe you you were either working too hard, which I feel like that was kind of your focus. They were like focusing on one area too much and that was becoming too much for you in terms of, like it was probably maybe causing um, ailments in you. It was maybe causing friction with, with loved ones. Whatever it was, there was like, a, because you were either doing too much of the emperor energy or too much of this energy, um, but not balancing. And it, it needs to be balanced because that's what makes you happy. This balance, this temperance is what's going to happen. Because I think you love, you have like creativity, but you also like you have this um you like taking care of maybe like cooking you like doing stuff at home but you also like to work you also like create your creative outlets of working so that's actually an interesting thing so it's it's really about finding this balance within yourself 
All right? Balance of like divine feminine and divine masculine. Let's see what the what we what our little cards are gonna say. Let's see. These are the fortune cookie cards by V Love and Crystals. <laughs> I say her name and I do it with a little song. <laughs> oh, special. Oh, pardon my awkwardness. If you already don't know, I'm a bit awkward. <laughs> All right, let's see. We have established healthy boundaries. Okay, we're going to have established healthy boundaries about work, life, and your other stuff. Find what is lost. Beware of narcissistic energy. Um, let's see what else. One more. We have this claim your territory. Oh, look at that. I don't know. I feel like we need one more energy here. Things will cool down. Okay, so... It feels like here we have, maybe you had some, some sort of, somebody was narcissistic. Um, I mean, you know, like too much. <sighs> Interesting. Even though it says beware of narcissistic energy, what I'm seeing is this back painting here. And I feel like that's, I feel like somebody that's working way too much. <laughs> that's like overworking yourself, overworking yourself to a point that's not like, mm, that's not healthy. I, I really do feel that that's the energy I'm getting here. And I feel like establishing your boundaries may not, I, I really don't want to say it's an interesting thing because I'm actually not seeing it so much as um, somebody else. I feel like it's establishing boundaries for yourself in yourself. Um, and by that, I mean like <clears throat> boundaries of your time. It's like, okay, I, this is like work time. Okay, I work time, but then there's boundaries of like that. Okay, we did enough work. Now it's time for us to like take care of us, right? There's these boundaries of your own, um, how you spend your time, how you, what you put your energy in there. So like, for example, I always like, I, I'm like one, something that is very important to me is like health is number one. Sometimes I forget that. I, I kind of like go off <laughs> and, and I like, I like to, you know, like I'll, I'll overwork myself. Right. And then my health does not like that because I'm not eating healthy. I'm not like making myself my own food. Or, or stuff like that so this is like healthy boundaries for me it's like knowing like okay this is time for work but this is now it's time for me to take care of me and the priority is always taking care of me because that's important that's that's like taking care of my health if I'm not healthy I can't really do anything else I, I feel like you need to hear that as well um and then I also want to say that uh, find what is lost here is I feel like what is lost to me is like what what I, and I know it's a teddy bear, but it's, it's, it is, and it is the sense of like, what, like, what excites you? What is it that, like, there is a sense of wanting to connect to, I want to create, I say creative, like some sort of creative endeavor here. Um, what, what made you happy when you were a child? Did you love to draw? Did you like to help your mom or dad, like, make some food? Did you, what? Or did you like to sing? Did you like to dance? Like, what is it? There's a lost, there's something that's lost that's being called forth now. It's, and that's the energy here. It's like, um, working too much or, or focusing on one area too much is, there's a, there's a missing piece here, which is, I really feel like there's a child, like your inner child, but not just your inner child, but like, what is it that makes you super happy? Um, and maybe that you haven't been doing. So lots of people will tell you, I, I love to do this. And then you ask them, when's the last time you did that? And then they're like, oh, I haven't done that in possibly months, weeks, years. What is it? This is the question I have for you. What is it? Like, maybe even write it out. What is it the things that you love to do? Like, what is it that puts a smile on your face that just makes you like... And I just like, you just love to do. And when was the last time you did that? And if you see that there's like a, a discrepancy in that, that is what we're finding. What is it that makes you super happy that you haven't been giving yourself time, that you haven't been establishing boundaries in your time to make that a pro like something that you can do? And here it is. And it's like, once you have that, it's like the sense of this claim your territory. Claim, claim not only your territory I really want to say claim that passion claim that that thing because for me here it's like what I'm seeing here is this creative um like this beautiful drawing of a cat here it's this creative you can draw that right if whatever it is that project that brings you joy here that's that's something that needs to be brought in here and then things will cool down if you know like and by this cooling down it's like um 
if you if you make time for this, you will see that there is like, how do I say it? The more happy you are, I I feel like, and the healthier you are, like if you focus on you and and your and the things that you lost, like things that you've been wanting to do but you haven't done because I really feel like you might be a, definitely a working bee kind of person. Um, but if you have time for doing those pleasurable things, those creative things, you're gonna see that the cool down in terms of like. There's not rush with the work. The work is going to get done even quicker. It's going to be, you're going to be more delighted in it. If that makes sense. <laughs> I hope this makes sense. But I, I really, like, I feel that it's there for, for you. Let's see what the Lenormand um, comes through here. Okay, let's see what the Mystic Sight and Mystic Night Lenormand has for us. Okay, what messages are... Um, Guidance does the collective of group four I need to hear right now. What messages are guidance to the collective? Okay, what messages are guidance to the collective? Oh, look at that. Yeah, look at beautiful. And these are both of the Mystic Knight um, Lenormand. So we have this. <sighs> so I want you to see this. There's opportunities here. There's a like, like the fox could be, um, well, actually, here, there's two messages here I can see. So the fox could be an opportunity, job opportunity that's being offered, um, in which case there is like a sense of like, t there's a, 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 a prosperity towards it. There's something that is very beautiful about this. But for some of you, I feel like the, the fox is something that sometimes can be hidden, some sort of a, a deceit. But I don't think it's a deceit, again, of others. I think it's a deceit of yourself. And here, I and I, and I do love that we chose this particular writer, um, because there's another writer. <laughs> there's two decks combined. Um, this writer is looking up into the moon it's like this this is like you're getting ready like there's there's again the sense of of like a child looking into the into the potential like looking at all these things and you're you're like you're gonna go there um and with the moon here there's an emotion sense an emotional sense here coming through so there is a connecting to this uh queen of pentacles because queen of pentacles even like regardless is that divine feminine that divine energy connection to toward emotions so i feel like it's understanding of of like releasing this um <laughs> i would say like an illusion like um Sort of like you're, you're a mask i want to say releasing that mask of, of things and really going towards the things that make you happy like what is it that that draws you to it like what is this i really want to say creative energy that's coming through what is it that's going to make you this happy and the writer's g giving you that way in so it's definitely like the path for your desires and your creativity is there is available to you you don't have to work all the time it could be a pleasurable pursuit coming through here but again for some of you there is an offer of job that is going to be very beneficial job or yeah just a work somehow Let's see what this, oh, sorry, I bump things all the time. <laughs> Let's see what guidance or messages is the collective of group four need to hear right now. This one, okay. All right, so here we go. We have From the Ashes I Rise. Yep. The creative, oh, the creative spark lives within me. Yeah, this is, this is what it is. And, oh, look at this. This is actually... <laughs> from group oh wonder if you guys have do this um this is from i believe group three if i'm not mistaken so you kind of had that here so from the ashes i rise so again something like i do say that there was something that was there that was just intense but look the creative spark lives within me so there's this sense again of creativity that's looking forward you are, are looking towards it and i feel like a part of you is like no i don't want like to do that and it's the boundaries of time allowing your creativity even if you're working creativity is very important having boundaries with your own time with yourself and even with like um the tasks you give yourself so the creative spark lives within you and you do have it right here this is this speaks volumes to me and knowing that you I'm worthy of my dreams right there and I'm seen held and supported so you do have that you are being supported uh, more than you know I think we, we often think that we are not but I feel like the, the universe wants you to have that you know the universe wants you to like ha know that you are being supported and you have this balance here um, 
And you might even be supported by like somebody who lo like, you know, loved ones that are supporting you and your dreams as well. All right, let's see what the divination dice. And this is my Everyday Wonders divination dice set. Let's see what it says. All right. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Look at this. I want you to see the grouchy grouchies. Look at the grouchies. The grouchies grouchies. You're kind of like angry. <laughs> So I want you to see this though. You're going angry here. I don't want you to, to be like, so there's the boundaries I can see. Like boundaries with yourself though. It's not other or some um, so much of others, others. We have the yes and no. Like what are you saying yes and what are you saying no to? And then like choosing like again not to be all <laughs> angry about it. But like what is it that you want into your life? Saying yes to more things. Saying yes to this creative um creative spark because it, it lives within you and it really wants you to to do that um i do feel like there is a transformation happening within you you are transforming here and there's messages coming there is uh but there's like also like you're moving forward this is this uh like the motion forward is the six of swords energy coming through here your transformation is is quite what you needed to do so here we go think outside the box is what we need to do and you can seize the day. So say yes to thinking outside the box and then seize the day and do what you love. Say no to things that are not, like if you don't, you know, how do you, I know we have to do sometimes do things that we don't want to do, but like say no to like, like time consuming stuff. So instead of like, here I am telling, instead of watching YouTube, and even if that costs me something, but here's what it's saying. Instead of doing like, let's say binge watching YouTube or binge watching Netflix, Instead of doing that, can we do something that, like, a, something creative, a creative project that is, like, really calls you to it, right? That that just, like, what you've been putting off. And can we say yes to that and, and no to, like, um, things that are, are I, I don't want to say wasting your time, but, like, using up your time in a manner that, that doesn't, you know, serve you, right? So saying yes to, to the things that do serve you and saying no to things that don't serve you. Um, and I understand if you, you know, if that's what you, you know, not watching YouTube, that's totally cool. If, if you're doing something there and if you're allowing this creative spark to, that lives in you and you're actually living that, oh my God, that is, that's, you're doing, that's what you're doing, what you were meant to do. Because that's something within you. This is, and it's like beautiful from, from what I, what I'm seeing here. Um, let's see what, let's, let's see what this one wanted to come out and what. Sprinkles. here we go sprinkle of charms here we have this and you have this you are blossoming you're really getting to who you are um the way i feel about you makes my heart long to be free so it's it, it is a sense of wanting to be free of you see we don't like there is this so we do have this and you can be very compassionate very giving but it's also don't ever be a martyr say no to things that you don't want to i know many people who are like um <laughs> who do things they don't want to do and then they're like and then they drag on and they become passive aggressive do not be that way you say yes to things you want and say no to things that you don't want if you cannot do it try to find somebody who can help you with it um inspire and you will because you're so creative i want you to see that the angels are there for you you have the divine here yeah you are definitely a busy bee that is something that i think you you work hard on but look follow your own drumbeat is coming through and then if you do your wishes will come true i hope you like this reading <laughs> if you did please consider liking liking commenting subscribing i really appreciate all of every just just watching watching this that's just really makes my day i i really love that you're here with me um and just if you do subscribe though we do i do have um like monthly giveaway of my oracle decks divination dice and free personal reading so please please be on the lookout there's a video and that's why it would, it's good to also have like if you want the notification on if whenever you see it there's a video that's gonna just say like um the giveaway for the month and so just all you have to do we just click on that and press enter and like write comment and like on the comments just write enter and then boom you're entered um so that is pretty cool <laughs> I am sending you so much love, so much light, so much happiness, and so much absolute joy and creativity. Have a wonderful day, and remember, you are magic. Bye-bye. Hello, group five. Let's find out what messages and what guidance you have, like, the cards have for you today. 
All right, let's see what guidance. Guidance on oh. <laughs> oh, I was waiting for that to happen. <laughs> it always, I guess when you always wait for something to happen, that's what happens. All right, I'm going to go ahead and, well, I'm going to let that be. Because I feel like those are the cards I'm going to go with once that I got it there. Um, so I, uh, hopefully I'll pick these up later. Actually, I'll just pick them up now. Sorry, excuse me while I pick up a whole bunch of cards everywhere. Oh my god, they really went everywhere. <laughs> blew, they blew out. Okay, well, okay. Boom, boom, boom. Alright. <laughs> so I try not to do my shuffling on camera. <laughs> but we'll let them be. Okay, these are ones that we're gonna do. Okay. Alright, okay, look at this. This is actually a good, perfect amount of cards that we wanted. I will have it just in case I need to clarify things but we do have this energy coming through of ten of swords so it was an ending a very painful ending that's coming through Whew. i do feel like this is a very much a, a love kind of message coming through because we do have the ten of swords so it's like a, a, a very tough ending um possibly with love coming coming here um of a love that's ending here we do have the hang unicorn so i feel like this energy though is 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 to help you achieve a different perspective of situation there is a truth that it will be if you have that the truth is coming that's going to help you have this um taking action in terms of uh, with clarity taking actions with clarity with having like new way of looking at things this is the clarity that it gives you it feels like this is like a new love new kind of love coming through here but overall it's the two of cups energy here and it could be choices i mean they, there is a sense of choice but it also just feels a love coming mm. i do want to clarify i'm glad i actually picked everything up um let's double check because i don't want to uh -huh. Okay, pretty sure everything was picked up. Okay, good. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and clarify. <laughs> Just don't want it to be. Yeah. There we go. Uh, I feel like there was. Oh well, yeah, this one was trying to come out this way. Let's go ahead. All right, let's clarify. Let's go ahead and clarify the Ten of Swords. What is the Ten of Swords doing here? The Tower moment. Oh wow. Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it was a very like strong ending here but it was an ending that needed to happen this is for your own like this was something that you were holding on to that was not serving you so it needed to end um it is an intense ending though let's see what the two of cups have the energy has for us here we have the ace of swords so it is a new clarity a new i feel like a new truth coming through of love so new i do feel like you there is new love coming into your life right now let's see what the knight of swords energy is here we have the nine of swords and it actually came out in reverse and i wasn't going to do reverse with these guys but i'm going to let this one that way so not worry no longer worrying about things no longer having this sense of fear of impending so now now that you're letting go of this the if you once you let go of this nines of worries of you're like i'm not sure what's happening um having this coming through here frees you up to actually start taking action and i feel the action that you're taking is towards love towards um it could be towards finding balance within yourself but i really do feel that this is a love that is like that you have found to be true about you're like oh my god this is this means a lot to to me here let's see what that ace of cups is saying here um i just wanted to come out so the ten of swords in reverse oh, so maybe it's like life just that's why I needed to drop everything because <laughs> these needed to be reversed. So we're letting go. Look, look at this. We're actually, we have the 10 of, of, of swords here, which we needed to come through. It came through an end um, with the tower. So it was very, it was intense and painful, but you needed, just so you know, you needed it because you needed to shift your perspective. You needed to see things in a different way and you weren't doing it because I feel like you were being stubborn and holding onto something. Uh, not, you know, I don't like calling people stubborn, but I'm stubborn too sometimes so <laughs> i understand um and i want you to see this because this is also a ten of swords and you're also releasing re releasing the burden of it and i feel like releasing a burden i feel like this is very much possibly like a connection uh it could be like it could be the romantic 
does feel that way. It could be some sort of like, to me, it feels so much like it could be a friend that you're letting go. Something like that, that you're a situation that needed. But it does feel like to me like a love situation here. You you dropped, you, you're letting go of the Ten of Wands, this energy of... Um, like uh, of just overbearing burden on you and if once you did that there's there's the love coming through the ace of cups fulfillment is coming through letting if we let go these these two the ten of swords and the ten of wands were holding us down and so was this nine of swords energy so it's a shift this tower moment needed to happen because you needed to shift and once you did there's new truth there's new love potential coming through in many ways there's new clarity of Ace of Swords and you clarity of Ace of Cups. This actually reminds me a lot of, of the first group, group one. So that was interesting here. So there is like a sense of releasing. We need to release and that's what I, I feel like. Releasing and shifting. <laughs> I feel like this is like the, the thing I keep saying. It's like shifting your perspective. <laughs> I actually see all my other stuff, but there is this is what it is We needed these endings and these was this very strong endings here uh, This strong ending to come here because we needed to shift and once we shifted we and we let go And this is the thing we're letting go of the nine of, of swords of like this like oh my god is like Constant worry constant looping of like the worst case scenario over and over Let us freed us up into being able to be this knight of swords which is cutting through everything cutting a cr cutting through this and starting to take action towards the things that we want whether it's love or whether it's like whatever it is that you wanted you needed to drop this word you needed to end this uh but this was not serving you this ten of swords it's like it could be uh, relationships that was not serving you it could be a job that was not serving you it's something that was draining you and that you had to like carry a burden because it kept on draining you and you were just like oh and then this tower moment came and you're like oh my god and it is painful because the tower moments oh it's painful because it's just like it's so shocking it's you're like oh but then once that once you shift that that perspective then we have this nine of swords gone it's going it's leaving you it's not the worries anymore you no longer worry about this you no longer carry this burden anymore you are on in towards the new beginning of the ace of cups and an ace of swords love two of cups and like this night of energy just moving you forward faster and faster oh oh i'm excited for <laughs> group five i'm excited <laughs> i do feel i understand that tower moment though let's see what what your cards are going to tell us here um so what is we do have here don't count on it time to move on okay we have heck yes and something better oh yeah this this just tells us right there look at this Look at this. It's actually clarifying every, like, you know, like, this is it. You were stuck. Don't count on it. And it was like, if you know New York and you know traffic jams, man, they don't move. It, it's like, it's like, ugh. <laughs> you don't want to pee there. You're just like, I, you don't even want to deal with that. You were stuck. This was you being stuck in traffic, stuck in whatever situation you were. And then it was time to move on. So the tower moment came and it's time for you to move on release all the burdens you're going to release all that king you're going to move into something better and yeah it even says it's something better here right it's you're moving to something better and you're like heck yes enthusiasm it's moving you forth oh my god it's just basically these cards are just echoing what we just saw time to move on to something better and you have it you have this like and i can see for me it's like the something better is like kind of releasing this is almost even this is almost like a an eight of of cups energy where you're feeling like you're feeling sad about moving on but it's it's time it's something better is here like look the the freedom the and again it's this night energy here because we have the the horses moving forward here and the heck yes i feel like there is like support and there's possibly like something even better where you're actually like you're part of i feel like a group part of like some sort of a something where you actually belong and i feel like you weren't there here it was just like oh stuck in traffic you believe me you don't want to ever be stuck in traffic <laughs> in new york city <laughs> like no uh, it, it's like you're like oh my god move no it's not gonna happen <laughs> uh. Let's go ahead and see what the Mystic Sight and Mystic Knight Lenormand. I combined both decks to make one giant deck, which I'm excited about. I think I might just 
do this in the actual deck itself. So let's see what messages or guidance does the collective of group, okay, snake, group. I have no idea right now. We have snake and ending, yep, okay. And I actually want you, I was going to just stick to, um, <laughs> this is going to stick to two cards, but I think you're going to definitely look at this. I want you to see this, right? Um, so snake, yeah, it could be that somebody betrayed you because we have the snakes. So somebody betrayed you, or it could be that, no, it really does feel like somebody betrayed you, somebody hurt you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was going to say the snake has the thing of making things complicated, but no, for, for, for this, I actually had said that for this one, because it's part of the mystic knight, um, Oracle deck, I said this was like a betrayal of some kind, betrayal, something that, yeah. That was a betrayal that we have then there was like we have the scythe which is like an ending that's the tower moment something suddenly shift and changed and now you have paths you have more availability of like choosing what path you want to do and you might go on a different path than you had already anticipated or thought wait there's like i feel like is there like a it might have been the other one okay so yeah so you're shifting, you're changing your path now. Um, listening to your intuition a lot more here with the moon. So it, it is like, it is a sense of, of where you, it's you basically were thinking you were headed one way and like the tower moment happened and it's gonna, and it changed your path and you have now, you're going to new beginnings, this new ace of cups, ace of swords and two of cups so it's it's actually quite beneficial this was this scythe here was very beneficial to you um you may not see it yet because i don't know along <laughs> where you are on this reading but the hangman will change your perspective and you will see it and this is very much uh very similar to group one so maybe check that on out too and this one's a lot more detailed yeah okay um so let's see what the cards say here all right, I believe in my magic. Okay, that's that. So I'm here coming through. Um, my magic is unique to me. Oh, wow, look at that. I actually like that a lot. Let me use just one more card here. And magical is my natural state of being. Look at that. You are magic, right? You are magic, 100%. Oh, look at that. I, and then you also have a very strong connection to both like maybe unicorns and horses. So there's a, I feel like there's an energy of you wanting to, you like freedom a lot and you like to move off like, and you might be a pack person as well, but there's a sense of freedom and, and moving fast. That I feel you were stuck in traffic before and I, and the universe is like, no, you're meant for speed. So believe in your magic. I believe in my magic. You, you have this here and you have magic is unique to me and you are, yeah. So magic is like, like, this is what I'm hearing. It says like you connecting to your magic, connecting to your power and seeing that, that, um, you actually created that tower moment, um, because <clears throat> you were calling it forth because you no longer wanted to be stuck. You wanted to move up, we move on, but I feel like there was a detachment there. Um, so you asked the universe for that. And, and, you know, like, I understand that that's a, a harsh thing because, um tower moments are very intense but sometimes we ask for them because we don't know how to move forward so that is interesting let's go ahead and see what the divination this is my everyday wonders divination dice set all right yeah so we have this i do like this because it is a sense of you needing to move forward um so yeah being playful about things knowing your own power you can for example you have a little vegetable here you can actually cook it yourself you can do things by yourself and you need to move forward there is a sense of here there's a need for you to, of motion forward yeah like with this there's a, a diamond here so there's m money coming through as well um and it, it's because you need to move there's a need for you like you have this flying the, the little flying dragon you also have the steps motion is important to you do your thing because you are unique and one day one day at a time you don't have to do everything all at once you can do it one day at a time but you get to do your own thing you take you have to take the steps um and then you will have you have the diamond whether whether it's love whether it's money whatever it is that you've been wanting you've been you have to do it one step at a time but you have to move 
there's a need for motion and not being stuck and then having fun with it kind of like enjoying the na 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 moments of like hey you know sometimes things go like this and knowing that you are in power you have the ability yeah here you have the ability to cook your own eggplant you have the ability to make your dreams come true and you and here it is as and i understand now what you're saying like believe in your magic you are magical you are unique to magical because it's understanding you have the power you have the magic within you to make your dreams come true so do your thing i do love that let's go ahead and see what the sprinkle of times are for you <laughs> for the collective of two five yeah look at that look at that <laughs> let's see i want to see what this is one oh yeah uh the feel the way i feel about you makes my lo my heart long to be free there's a sense of freedom that you need to do here you have this transformation that's coming through and your wish is being fulfilled love and be loved beloved love and beloved so I, I for me it's like for me it's like you can love but also allow yourself to be loved as well here here we have the cake enjoy the cake enjoy your cake um you in a sense I, I feel like this was like you can have your cake and eat it too but I feel like ooh, instead of having your cake enjoy the cake enjoy it right now savor what savor everything about your like life your journey here um you're moving you're moving a little bit slower than you thought but it's moving there's momentum coming and it's gaining and it is like motion forward even if it's one day at a time one step at a time do it and you're going to get there there is something that's hidden that's going to come to light coming forward here um we do have the wheel of fortune so we are moving the wheel of fortune here but now i'm like also feeling like you have control you can move the boat any way you which you want you have the ability to <laughs> shift you have the ability to like mm, if you need to take a different path you can you can change directions and that's an important thing here i really truly hope you liked this reading um and if you did please consider liking commenting and sharing and subscribing for those of you who subscribe i do give monthly giveaways of my uh, divination dice decks uh my decks and my um personal readings as well so please just be on the lookout there's a video who, who that will say september giveaway or whatever month you're watching this um giveaway and then just go ahead and if you go to the comments and write enter you'll be entered and it's really super simple and if you don't want to actually subscribe then you can just comment on this video and then you'll be entered for the personal video giveaway each, each week so go ahead and do all those things i always try to like just show my gratitude for you being here watching here and just supporting my channel and our community so i am beyond grateful for that i am just sending you so much love so much light so much magic and ah oh, you are magic oh you are 100 percent magic and your life is meant to be magical have a great day bye bye group five